Hey guys, so we're gonna try to make tandoori chicken in the ninja oven grill, everything two in one. Uh, it's supposed to be able to do all your max crisping, air frying, roasting, reheating, dehydrating, baking, all of that function is available on this ninja cooking equipment. So we're gonna try to cook tandoori chicken in that. Let's see if it can be done. I've got myself some chicken pieces here skinned and everything and we're going to take some parts out you can get them pre-cut or you can get them whole and cut them yourself whichever is easy for you we're just gonna give it a little bit more trim and i think then we're going to marinate this with the tangerine flavors and everything first of all i'm going to give a little slits onto the chickens just so the flavor and all the ingredients go into the chicken so you get a juicy crispy tandoori chicken all the way through they tend to do that because we're not using a stone baked oven we're not using a typical oven we're going to use the ninja and see if it actually can be it's going to be the first time ever doing this i've never done it before so it's going to be experiment i'm not following any recipes we're just going by just by what we've learned about these type of cooking so we've got all the ingredients we've got the bowl we've got the chicken and the ingredients we're gonna I'll go through everything while we put everything in so first of all add some onion paste I think half a teaspoon for added there this is ginger and I've got garlic there as well Timothy chili i'm gonna add it's extra hot so add as much as you like or less as you like half a teaspoon of jira powder half teaspoon of coriander powder or dania depends on what you want to call it so i've got a pack of a tandoori mushroom you can get these from all leading supermarkets i'm adding the whole packet in there add it all over so you want this kind of texture and the flavor to take over I'm going to add some yogurts now one tablespoon of natural yogurt you can use other yogurts you like but I'm just using normal natural now I'm going to add some lemon juice just drizzle it all over if you want it really tangy add more if you want it to be less tangy add less it's all up to you I've got all of that added I'm going to add some olive oil you can use any other oil if you like before the oil I'm going to add a teaspoon of salt but it's all about how much you like it. Always test it as you go on. Mix it all in. I've got the chicken beside me. And you should be able to smell the fragrance and the flavor already. Drop the chicken, get grubby, mix it all up. So it goes all around the chicken. It goes inside and out. Give it a good massage and everything. Now all of this mix, I'm gonna add some oil, olive oil. Put it all around, mix it all up. So longer you keep this, the flavor ingredients going more. If you do want to keep it overnight, you can. If you want to eat it instantly, give it, have it for a few hours, store it. So all the flavors mixed. So keep it in the fridge. You don't need to keep it in the freezer. Let all the flavors go in. So now you can see already it looks really it's slightly different it's not kind of red looking it's kind of more orange but it's going to be fabulous hopefully the ninja can do it justice after it's all marinated it looks beautiful now we're gonna put it in our ninja basically the pan or whatever dish you call it pop it in i'm gonna leave everything on there so it sips in and everything so any actually the musclers or the tandoori mix it, I want it to flow in there the thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna all together it's gonna be just over 30 minutes cooking time but I'm gonna flip it over around about 12 to 13 minutes so get all the marinated right into the roasting dish itself that I'm gonna put it on the roasting section and let you know the minutes and everything pour it all in so it goes everywhere so the flavor sips in and looks great so far so we're going to put it on number one it's going to be 160 the temperature degrees so turn it on it goes to there 
and it's on 190 but I'm going to change it to 160 because we're going to turn it around we're going to go and roast time I would I wouldn't know what's the perfect so 12 minutes first of all then after that we're going to open it up change it over to see how it goes we want it to be crispy we want it to smooth inside we want it kind of a little bit of burnt as well after the countdown finishes we're going to open it up and check how it looks see how much is done and turn everything over and again another 12 minutes will be great when it finishes it makes the end sound and it turns off steam comes out here so it's gonna stay cool it's not gonna be burning hot all right let's pull it out and see how much is done whoa that looks so vibrant and you can see the muscle going all over and looking great so far let's turn all of this over got myself a tong uh steel one you can use a non-stick one is all up to you so all you want it we want it to cook all the way through each side do careful it can rip open and think and as you can see some of the muscles are stuck some of them are not so it's not done perfect it's not like you would put it in basically in a clay oven no way like that it's burnt and the, you can use other muscles to make it look more red and everything. We're going for the home, authentic, proper roasted tandoori chicken. We've got all the ingredients, we just don't have the color. So next 12 minutes should help it a lot. So let's pop it in and see how it goes, how much has it cooked. So it may need longer, it may not. So we're gonna do 160 and 30, 12 to 30 minutes roast it and start it up so this may take longer so this is a trial we're gonna see how it makes first time ever making a tandoori in the ninja we're going by own instinct we're not following any recipes and see how it does will it be enough or will we need more let's find out and see after the 30 minutes let's open it up and let's see how well it's done Oh, it's looking good. It's you can see some burn parts. It's getting the roasted quite nicely. It doesn't have the color, but I've got all the flavoring there and everything. Let's have a look if we need to change it over or if it needs to go in a bit longer. So after flipping and having a little look, it does need to go in there a bit longer. I'm gonna put it at least probably about six to seven minutes longer. That should be the perfect condition perfect to go through it is getting cooked but it's going to be all in the taste of the tandoori chicken and everything let's pop it back in goes back in hopefully this will be the maximum time we put it in we're gonna put it to 160 as usual put it in for about seven minutes and see how it goes overall it was quite a long time so all together it's going to be about 31, 32 minutes. It's all about testing and everything. It's coming through quite nicely. If you do want the color, you can add other ingredients for the color, but we'll see how it tastes at the end. We are making handmade nuns for the cooker. If you do want to check that out, if you do want to know about how to make small handmade nuns at home, we'll do that in the future if you let me know guys leave it on the comments give it a like and subscribe to let us know if you do want all this now the tandoori has finished in about six or seven minutes let's open this bad boy up and look at it oh it looks so good we have little nans a little chicken and everything it looks kind of slightly sizzled as well as kind of slightly burnt and everything. That's what we like. Let's little take a nibble and try and see how it is. But before we do that, I gotta show you something. This is what a handmade naan looks like. Raw, proper, nice. If you make it like that, put it on the hob. When it is cooked on both sides, put it on the flame. It's gonna flow up like a proper naan. But that will be in the future if you do want it, guys. If you don't. Let me know. If you do want it, I'll do it in the next recording. You gotta share, subscribe and everything. But let's take a poke at the chicken and see how good it is. 
open it up and look at that lush chicken coming out it looks good it does look like it's done inside let's take a little nibble and see if it actually tastes good absolutely let's take one little piece out and let's have a try and see if it's any good take the little chicken take it enjoy the look it's it's nice and white in there so it's nice and done juicy little texture coming out wow yes that is super nice it is done inside and out nice tangy flavor all done all you gotta do is guys enjoy with your nan enjoy with your family and friends a little bit of spiciness in there it has worked with the ninja foodie the double one if you have enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you haven't let me know thank you for watching guys thank you for listening hope to see you in the future i'll see you on the flip side bye bye